Hello, today I'm going to be talking about temperature, which is defined as a quantitative measure of both hot and cold. So first we're going to go over absolute temperature scales. So absolute temperature scales are defined from absolute zero and can be used for any calculation. Calculations with the ideal gas law, which is PV, pressure volume, equals NRT, mole times R, which is the gas constant, times T, which is the temperature, should use Rankine and Kelvin. So Rankine and Kelvin are both the two examples of absolute temperatures. Relative temperature scales have arbitrary reference points. They should not be used in multiplication and division, but they can be used in addition and subtraction. So an example of relative temperature scales are Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is a little chart that I made here detailing the relative temperatures and the absolute temperatures. So Fahrenheit, the symbol for it is just a degree F. It is relative and it is the lowest temperature from the cooling brine. 100 degrees Fahrenheit is defined as the highest point for the human body temperature. So Fahrenheit is primarily used in weather calculations and body heat calculations. So Celsius is defined as degrees Celsius. It is relative. Zero degrees Celsius is the freezing point of water. 100 degrees is the boiling point of water. Celsius is primarily used in labs. Um, Fahrenheit is primarily used outside weather and all that. Rankine and Kelvin, again, they're both just absolute temperature scales. They're not used as often as Celsius and Fahrenheit in everyday life. But Rankine would be more connected to Fahrenheit in calculations, and Kelvin would be more connected to Celsius, as you'll see in the later equations. Boiling points and freezing points of the Kelvin scale, degrees Celsius scale, and degrees Fahrenheit scale are shown on the image at the right. So water boils at three different numbers for each scale and freezes at three different numbers for each scale and the absolute zero is at three different numbers for each scale as well. But while the relative scale is in the negatives for absolute zero, as you can see down at the bottom, the absolute scale which is Kelvin, is at zero for absolute zero because it is absolute, which that is basically what differentiates absolute scales from relative scale. And we will learn more about this relationship uh, converting between Kelvins and Celsius and Rankines and Fahrenheit in the next slide. Also, Rankine's boiling point and freezing point is showed over here, and its absolute zero would be at zero as well, since it is absolute. And as I mentioned before, Fahrenheit usually measures weather and heat, etc. Celsius is usually used in labs. <clears throat> so these are the common temperature conversions. There is no great way to remember these except you could take the fractions and convert them into decimal form if that would help you remember them. So, yeah. So to convert to Kelvin, you just take Celsius and add about 273. The 0.15 isn't super important. So if you have 0 degrees Celsius, it is equal to... 273 degrees Kelvin, or not degrees Kelvin, just Kelvin. All right, and if you have zero degrees Fahrenheit, it is equal to about 459 degrees Rankine. And those are just example calculations that I'm doing real fast over here for y'all. I don't have a calculator or anything. But these are the equations that you will use 
to convert between temperatures they are very important equations and these are two thermometers with one at Celsius and one at Fahrenheit so you can see the difference between the two so while Fahrenheit is somewhere around 117 Celsius is somewhere around the 28 range ish so you can see just how different they are and just how different you would be telling somebody that the weather is a certain temperature like 70 degrees Celsius between 70 degrees Fahrenheit outside how wrong you would be if you said Celsius instead of Fahrenheit because Fahrenheit is what we use to measure weather outside anyways that is the end of my PowerPoint today so make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below and follow the channel